Today's location of interest is the Lonely Chapel, which essentially just acts as a back door to the federal ration stockpile, which isn't that bad a thing. I mean, if you don't want to deal with the amount of raiders and you just want the skill book and to kill Red Lily, then by all means, this is perfectly the best way to go about it. The story to the Lonely Chapel is the soldiers of the Federal Ration Stockpile, when everything was going to hell, tried to hold it against civilians who were trying to break in. They weren't very successful and you can see that they obviously stormed the building and got in. But if you're going through it, then you can just walk right up in here and you're right in front of Red Terrell. Take her out and you'll be able to pick up Perfect. the little... Uh, manual here, making you harder to detect while sneaking, and all of her supplies. Also Honor is the stockpile password, as well as her little terminal here. We might as well have we read of it if you haven't seen the Federal Ration Stockpile video. Sis caught a pair of Tower Tom's goons sniffing around the front entrance. Lil and I interrogated them and it sounds like the liquid diet they've got going on over at the brewery ain't working so well for them. Apparently, Tar Tom's got some sort of plan to fight his way in here and steal our food. I'd like to see those drunk idiots try. Lil's gone. Tar Tom and his boys made a run in the stockpile today and in the chaos, Lil went missing. I sent a crew out to see if anyone could find out where she went, but I'm fearing the worst. If Tom somehow got her hands on her, I'll rip out that guy's heart and nail it to my wall. Son of a bitch, Tar Tom's got Lil. He's making her write me letters, begging for supplies. Says he's gonna cut her up if I don't. I tried to get a crew together to go rescue her, but they talked me down. Said Tom would just kill her if we made a move, and we've gotta do something. I'll give that big fuck his food for now, but not before our mutts get a chance to mark it. <laughs> got another letter from Lil, but something's off. She calls me Red. I hate that name, and she knows it. I think something's happened. Tom's recruiting hard now that he's got our provisions. I'm going to send one of my boys to sign up and see if he can figure out what's going on. The man I sent to Beantown Brewery said there was no sign of Lil anywhere in the place. Tom must have moved her somewhere. I've sent a crew to start looking for Hang in there, Lil. We're coming. Obviously, Lil, uh, she actually died trying to escape Tar Tom in the Beantown Brewery. And then Tom hit her in one of the vats. Not that we ever see her or find the body. But you can also control the turret here whilst uh, you're about. And then you can use her password to simply waltz right into the Federal Ration Stockpile from the back door, making it quite the easy way in. Not uh, not too bad, let's just sit down, I'll show you some of the nice things you can find inside here. If we open the memo, you can see about a security upgrade to the facility that's going to start immediately, and then they basically warn not to take any of the federal rations or they'd risk their job. And then they warn about the breach. A group of civilians have discovered the hatch leading into the old tunnels connecting to this facility. Simple surveillance of this exit is no longer adequate. A minimum of three men will be stationed at this point until we can find a way to better secure it or seal it up entirely. It's strange they didn't seal it up, although it would make a good escape route if one got blocked. The other thing is there's three skeletons, so obviously they were the three that got overwhelmed. Also, I do not want to hear any more complaining about our choice to build this federal storage facility into these tunnels or the struggles of the retrofit operation. The decision has been made and approved in the budget. This exit point will be handled and the facility will continue to serve its purpose. Exit and out. We can open the security doors and get on in here. You get a steamer trunk. Plenty of food if you're doing a survival playthrough. This is just the dream. Now be sure to pick up the mini nuke as well as the fat man located over at the other entrance. If you want to learn more about this place, be sure to check out my video on the Federal Ration Stockpile. Now the few unmarked locations around the Lonely Chapel we'll have a look at. Once you're out back out in the open, you have two things you want to visit. One is the very edge of that freeway accessible via a gunner lift or a lift up to the gunner base and if you walk all the way you'll find a wee duffel bag full of money but before you have a look at that you'll want to see this right here a sneaky yaogwai who's made their little cave nest here just beside the lonely chapel you'll want to be very careful when you're in the area you don't want to disturb him now let's go get this money 
thankfully for the purposes of this video the gunners have agreed to let me use their little lift here because they're team players. Now that you're up here you can of course loot their base but then you'll want to stay head straight west towards the Nuka Cola Transit Center. You can't access it from this freeway but if we get right to the end here you can just see the lonely chapel over here on the right side. We can find a trail of pre-war money leading up to the skeleton with a 44 pistol and a duffel bag that varies in how much pre-war money you'll get. Be sure to also crack open the expert lock safe before heading down. The transit center clearly visible in the background. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.